Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Be Water, My Friend, a creation by Shannon Lee. Be Water, My Friend, 2020, combines elements of an inspirational guide with an intimate memoir focusing on Bruce Lee's philosophy of Be Water. Inspired by Lee's close affinity with water and his lifelong dedication to martial arts, the book imparts simple yet profound teachings on achieving self-fulfillment. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Shannon Lee, the daughter of the late Kung Fu master and Hollywood legend Bruce Lee, holds several prominent positions. She is the CEO of Bruce Lee Family Companies, the president of the Bruce Lee Foundation, and also hosts the popular Bruce Lee podcast. With 5K Ideas to Unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, Bruce Lee can help you reach your fullest potential. Bruce Lee, known for his martial arts and film career, also had a deep philosophical system. He believed in personal growth and enlightened living, and his core philosophy was summarized by the phrase, be water. Lee's goal was self-actualization, and he saw himself as a conduit for others to experience truth. Five core tenets of his philosophy include the wisdom of water, the value of emptiness, the gifts of opponents and obstacles, the truth of kinship, and the way of Jeet Kune Do. The teachings may seem contradictory, but life is ever-changing and requires adaptable responses. The path to self-actualization starts with a single step, and although Lee is no longer here, his teachings are still available. Key idea number one. The text discusses the importance of the wisdom of water, emphasizing its essential role in sustaining life and the need for humans to respect and learn from this valuable resource. Bruce Lee a martial artist, believed that he learned everything from martial arts, which were more than just physical practices for him. At first, he was more interested in asserting himself rather than heeding the flow of nature. However, he had a revelation when he punched at the water and realized its strength in softness and pliability. He adopted the philosophy of be water, which means responding deftly to the environment and recognizing the time and place for both yielding and asserting. Water embodies yin and yang, showing that we have both strengths and weaknesses, and life has both joy and sorrow. Water teaches us to acknowledge and embrace both aspects to become complete. Key idea number two. The concept of the gift of emptiness suggests that letting go of attachments and desires can lead to a sense of freedom and contentment. Embracing emptiness allows for a deeper connection with oneself and the present moment, opening the door to personal growth and spiritual transformation. This gift reminds us that there is beauty and potential in embracing the unknown and releasing the need for control. The key points of the text are, Lee believed in emptying the mind as a pathway to enlightened living. Emptiness involved operating from neutrality and being an eternal student. Operating from neutrality means embracing the what is, rather than judging experiences as good or bad. Being an eternal student means constant self-examination and using various practices like meditation, reading and journaling for deep thinking and learning. Embracing emptiness and being an eternal student offer opportunities for growth, inspiration and avoiding boredom. Key idea number three. This text is about the idea that opponents and obstacles should be seen as gifts it suggests that challenges can provide valuable opportunities for growth and learning. Instead of feeling discouraged or threatened by them, we should embrace them as blessings that can help us become stronger and better individuals. Opponents and obstacles are a natural part of life. Rather than seeing them as adversarial, Bruce Lee viewed them as opportunities for growth and co-creation. To overcome them, he advised getting to know them reflecting on the underlying lessons and securing a positive mindset. He also acknowledged that we are often our own greatest opponent and obstacle, but this means we have the power to master ourselves. Key idea number four. 
The truth of kinship refers to the idea that blood relation is not the sole determinant of family bonds. It recognizes that emotional connection, love and support are equally important aspects of kinship. This concept challenges the traditional notion that family is solely based on biological ties, advocating for a broader understanding of what it means to be related. It emphasizes the importance of chosen family and the power of emotional bonds in creating meaningful connections. When asked about his identity, Bruce Lee responded that he identified as human. He believed that under the sky there is only one family. Lee faced prejudice for not fitting neatly into any one cultural group, but he chose to respond with love, acceptance and compassion. He believed that how we treat anyone is how we treat everyone and that excluding even one person means we can potentially exclude all, including ourselves. He encouraged us to embrace our shared humanity and continue his legacy of acceptance and light. Kinship is essential for personal growth and enlightened living. Key idea number five, Jeet Kune. Do is a martial art philosophy developed by Bruce Lee that emphasizes being formless and adaptable in combat. It promotes efficiency and simplicity, incorporating techniques from various martial arts. Jeet Kune Do encourages self-expression and personal growth, allowing practitioners to discover their own unique fighting style. It prioritizes speed, timing, and accuracy in delivering strikes and defending. The goal is to be fluid and agile, using economy of motion to defeat opponents. Bruce Lee was a controversial figure in the martial arts scene due to his mixed heritage and his belief in disregarding traditional fighting styles. He trained with his Sifu, Yip Man, in private to avoid backlash. Lee faced criticism for studying under various teachers and eventually created his own martial art, Jeet Kune Do, which integrated elements from different disciplines. Lee encouraged others to shape their own lives and create their own unique paths. He compared personal growth to being a sculptor, where we determine what to keep, discard, and how to shape our lives authentically. Lee's intention was not to create followers, but to inspire individuals to find their own path of self-expression. In conclusion, Bruce Lee, known for his physical abilities and movies, prioritized self-actualization. By embracing his philosophy, including wisdom of water, value of emptiness, gifts of opponents and obstacles, truth of kinship, and Jeet Kune Do, you can experience personal growth and enlightened living. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.